Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. For today's bookmarks we will be using Claire Fontaine watercolor paper 20 by 40 centimeters or 8 by 15 and a half inches and we will split it into half and for the one part we will be painting three bookmarks and also split it in three parts and it's somewhere, somewhere around 6.6 centimeters that's around I think 2.2 2.3 inches and I will draw the line between all of them because I do want to know where the line is and to just to know where to paint the background. I also pre-mixed the colors and I will be using those three colors some green some pinkish and some a little bit more to violet color and also this micron pen and a brush, larger brush, this is number 12 brush. First I'm starting off with pre-wetting the part where my bookmark is and I did not this time use a washi tape to do a border because I don't want a border, I, wanted to, I want the border to look quite handmade and first I'm dipping into my palette and taking some chromium oxide that is quite I think natural earthy color to do the first background and also I will add a little bit of mix of a couple of colors I used and all the materials I will be using for this bookmarks I will list down in the description box so you can all find them there just go ahead and check it out and don't be bothered actually with colors I'm using just try to find approximately similar color in your palette or not just use any color you like but uh, follow the technique I'm doing now I'm just while the paint is still wet adding a little bit of that second color just here and there topping in Afterwards I'm moving on to my second bookmark, also pre-wetting and then using that second paint to paint in the background of this bookmark and this to this one I will also be adding a little bit of violet, violet color in some parts here and there, just also tapping in and this one I did not paint the entire way, I just left some parts also white because you know I like that, I like some parts also to stay white, we don't have to paint the entire background. Third one, I'm also starting with pre-wetting the paper, then I will be using that violet color and all of those colors as you can see are quite earthy colors, so I decided this time to use the color part of an earthy colors and as I said earlier you can use just any colors you like. To the third one I mixed in a little bit of that chromium oxide, the first one I used for the first palette and also just tapping in here and there and I will be adding a little bit of the darker color also. You know I do love making bookmarks because they are just the perfect way to make a fast gift and it's also handmade, you made it yourself for someone for just any occasion and quite cute, quite you know I think everybody will love it, you you made it, you took the time to, to just do it. And now when the paint completely dried I'm switching off to making the doodles and this time again I'm using a micron pen, this is number 0 0.5 and I'm just doodling the doodles and you know at the end I will be turning them around, the upper part will be it will be at the end looking like they are sticking from the ceiling so I am drawing them this way but at the end that's how I thought of them I thought just to to turn them around and to make the lower part upper part and upper part the lower part just like they're hanging and I'm just making some couple of doodles here and there adding some flowers When I finished the doodling I decided to do a couple of splatters and I used the colors that I used for the background on all of three of them and I decided also I do want it to go outside the part that I painted as a background and just go also into the whites 
because you know i thought it would be nice it would be fun to just you know to make something go out of the border and then again i also decided to do a couple of lines just to go over a couple of lines with my paint and also again just using the same paint as i did for the background for that particular bookmark And when the paint completely dried, I cut the bookmarks on the lines that I drew earlier. Also, you can at the end just punch a hole at the top of your bookmark, add some tape, some thread, whatever you like. If you want to make it fun for this, I need to do it. Maybe later on I will, but for now I will just leave it like that. And with that, I'll be finishing off this video and of course these bookmarks. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. And I hope you like this video. Maybe you got some cute idea for bookmarks. And if you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. It would really, really mean a lot to me. And without further ado, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.